So I'm really excited to be here today. And more than that, I'm excited to share a story. Story of a young girl with infinite curiosity. Her name is Era. She was beaming with the hunger to create something. Not just create paintings, but poems, but modern marvels, sometimes grand architectures and even gadgetry. Many a times she used to wonder if she can get a super power to create everything that her mind could imagine. And in one of her dreams, she met a new friend. His name was Brahm. Brahm was younger than her, but had a gift. In just few minutes, Brahm could consume libraries full of information. If given enough amount of time, like years and months, he could consume the entire information in this world. And not just consume, but learn it, form connections. And through this connected knowledge, he could do infinite creations. But Ira completed Brahm. The Brahm brought the power of creation, but Ira brought emotion, empathy, and the power of humanity to the mix. And together, they started creating the fantasies for the world. Now you might be wondering, if this a story where the protagonist is Ira or Brahm, the human or the AI, actually it's none. It's the story of collaboration, a symbiotic relationship between the man and the machine where they are creating together. Hi, my name is Haryom Seth and I'm here to talk about the future of human creativity. Since many times the humans were there on this planet, the reason and the meaning of humanity has changed. Many a times, say many years before, when human was just a hunterer and gatherer, we invented agriculture. And from being a hunter and a gatherer, we started dwelling in permanent places. Then many years fast forward, the invention of industrialization and the industrial revolution came in. And rather than going to the fields, we started going to these factories. We started going to offices. The whole humanity changed. Then came the information change. Rather than going to the factories, we started learning and becoming a knowledge worker. And today, we are at a cusp of yet another revolution. The revolution of AI, which is going to change the face of humanity yet again. And we have just started. I'll give you a metaphor to explain the impact this change is going to bring to the world. For that, we have to go around 100, 125 years back in the history. Approximately 125 years back, in late 1890s, a legendary beverage company was founded. And in early 1900s, the invention of refrigeration came to the world. And you would know that not many refrigeration companies are a billion dollar enterprise today. But this beverage company is one of the most valuable companies in the world. That is the power of AI, which is available to each one of you who's sitting in this room. We can have an idea for a product service, or we might want to solve a problem. And with help of AI, we can have this moment and turn our idea into a billion dollar enterprise. I'll give you another metaphor to explain how the impact of technology changes the process of creation. 
can you see this image just try and find out a pattern between this imagery on the bottom left you can see some very simple stone tools through these stone tools the man was able to create cave paintings then the tools became sophisticated these are the tools from michelangelo and he was able to create the marvelous sculpture david and on the top you can see the formation of burj khalifa the point i'm trying to make is that when humans get better tools they solve better problems so it's not that ai is going to eat up the current problems and jobs of the world we will have use cases which we can't even imagine that is the magnitude of opportunity that is available out there and how ai changes everything is not by giving a sophisticated solution to a already existing problem it even redefines what is actually possible it excels the imagination the world is moving from computer aided everything to ai enabled everything and i'll i'll tell you how you can participate in the future of human creativity in the world of ai so let me give you say maybe a usable insight and a framework which can make you from an outsider in the world of ai to an insider so what is the super power in in the world of ai when ai is taking care of almost everything you know the whole heavy lifting of creation is being done by ai so what what is the role of human beings of course it is empathy emotional intelligence and on a functional level it is articulation if you'll read clearly all these four sentences are pointing towards a same outcome what is the difference between each sentence is in the level of detail say in the world where all the heavy lifting of creation is handled by ai how do you determine and what is the role of a human being in the quality of outcome it is collaborating with the ai and how do you collaborate with these ai tools through articulation so articulation is a broad language skills how clearly can someone communicate their thoughts and their vision to the world that's what articulation is in the world of ai there is another world which is more specific more targeted which is called prompt prompt is a way you speak to the ai models like to speak effectively to human beings we need to understand the nuances of articulation similarly to speak to these large language models or diffusion models we need to understand how do they work so i'll give you a framework which can get you started into the world of ai by writing effective prompts so it's not going to get you through the end but it can at least make a very effective beginning so each step which you see on the screen points at a at a intricate detail or inside of how this language model works so a language model usually has billions of parameters that means it has consumed so much information that is available in the world that it it knows everything about the authors their books it knows about the scientist it knows about the scientific creations so if you want a specific outcome you don't want to use everything that is available in the in the language model or the ai model you want a very specific set of knowledge so the first thing you do while interacting with ai you define the persona you tell ai that ai needs to behave as a certain individual maybe a scientist and not just a space not just a generic scientist a scientist with a certain discipline 
certain knowledge of a subject matter, years of experience, so on and so forth. So that so many billions of parameters of knowledge is available. You want to use a very specific part of that knowledge. So first step is you define the persona in which the AI needs to act to produce and produce results and work with you. Then you clearly define the task you want to give to the AI. It could be writing your assignment. It could be writing a presentation. It could be writing an investor report. You need to clearly define the details of the task. It also helps to define who's going to be the consumer of this outcome. Because say writing a poem for a child is very different than writing a poem for an adult. And it is very different for writing a poem for a person of a different ethnicity. So if you're specific about the audience of the poem, the AI does not have to do too much of a guesswork. And then very simple and obvious, you also want to define in what format do you want this outcome? Do you want an image? You want a video? You want a text? PDF? Table? So this, these are, I would say a minimum, bare minimum architecture you should follow while interacting with the machines. Because articulation is for the world, prompt engineering and writing a prompt is for the language models and the AI models. I'll also give you an example of something that I recently created using some very smart or, you know, clever prompt engineering. In fact, I would also like to, uh, you know, share with you that almost 100% of the visuals used in the presentation, they were created by AI and almost 80% of the content that I'm speaking has been created with the help of AI. So I was on an assignment to design or propose a new kind of robot. The objective of this robot was to prove to the world that AI is not a harmful uh, thing. It's not there to destroy the world, but in future it is going to save the world. So I started with creating a campaign which says that AI is supposed to destroy the world, right? It's, it's not supposed to save. And I created a concept of a robot that can do autonomous afforestation. Okay. So I'll just show you the results. So these are two robots that are completely designed by AI and that too through just few minutes. So I had to describe a very simple goal that I want to create a robot that is autonomous. That means it moves automatically, does not require any guidance. It can refuel itself. It can be left in the forest and it has an objective that in the areas where deforestation has happened and where humans cannot go is either it's dangerous for humans to go or we cannot send humans. These robots can go and plant saplings so that those those areas can can be green again and afforestation can happen. Okay. And through some series of, you know, prompting, it gave me a design which is on the <coughs> left of the screen. And it also marked down details how each each thing is going to function. And then I said that, oh, it's a great design. But can you make a design which can easily walk on the concrete, not just on soft soil? It gave me something on the right. It might look like, you know, a, a very simple outcome that AI has given us some beautiful imagery. But somebody who does not understand anything about robotics to have the ability to create a functional model, it is a great achievement. So the point I'm trying to make is that now humans have the ability to instantly have access to a subject matter expert. You don't have to, you know, take an appointment to a very busy professor somewhere in Harvard 
or or a very big scientist you can write very clever prompts and the whole the knowledge of the world is available to you it is up to us how do we use it and i'm sure that all of us will collaborate with ai and we will heal this world and that is my message that the future is human creativity fueled with ai thank you very much